When you launch PowerPoint for the first time, you might be just a little bit overwhelmed by how many controls are available to you. Those controls, of course, are very helpful in terms of fine-tuning and really perfecting your presentations. But at first, you're probably just feeling like there's an awful lot of buttons to click on. Let's take a look at the overall organization of PowerPoint itself so that you'll have a better sense of how things work and where you can find the various things you're going to need from time to time as you're working on your presentations. Of course, most of the screen real estate is taken up by the presentation itself. You can see here that I have the presentation previewed at a relatively large size. And over on the left side, I can also see the individual slides that are in this presentation. So I can switch between slides and then make adjustments to each individual slide as I'm working. And then down below, we have notes. So I can add information about each individual slide. And that serves two basic purposes. It lets you add notes while you're working, but also those notes can be available to you when you're making your presentation. Down below this main working area, you'll find the status bar. Over on the left, we see an indication of which slide number we're currently on and how many total slides there are. We can also see the name of the theme that's been used to adjust the overall appearance of the presentation. And at the far right of the status bar, you'll see some view options. We can switch between different views of our slides and even start the presentation itself. And we also have controls that allow us to zoom out or zoom in on the slide that we're working on in the presentation. There's also a button that allows you to fit the slide into the current available space in the window. Taking a look up above our slide area, you'll see the ribbon. And the ribbon contains the controls that you'll be using to adjust your overall presentation. That includes things like text adjustments, images, the ability to create animations, and all sorts of other tools. The ribbon is divided into tabs. You can see that I'm currently looking at the Home tab. I also have the Insert tab, the Design tab, the Transitions tab, etc. And in certain situations, such as when I have an image selected on one of my slides, you'll see an additional tab will appear with special tools that relate to that particular type of object. And over at the far left, we have the File tab. And this is usually referred to as Backstage View. It provides us with some basic overall options related to working with our presentation files. Up at the top of the window, like most applications, we have a title bar that features the name of the current slideshow, as well as an indication that we're working in Microsoft PowerPoint. At the far right, we have controls for adjusting the window. We can minimize the window, maximize or restore down the window, and close PowerPoint altogether. And we also have access to the Help feature and a button that allows us to hide the ribbon or reveal it again. And finally, over at the far left of the title bar, we have the Quick Access Toolbar. And, as the name implies, this provides quick access to some of the more commonly used commands. For example, to save our presentation or to undo the last thing we performed. We can also change which options are available on the Quick Access Toolbar just by clicking on the pop-up menu here. So I can have, for example, a Quick Print button as one of the other commands on the Quick Access Toolbar. So as you can see, while there are a great many features in PowerPoint that will help you really make the most of your presentations, the organization of the overall interface is rather straightforward, and so you should have no trouble at all finding the features you need when you need them.